In Washington State, medical marijuana has already been permitted for years. Richard Curtis says legalizing its recreational use makes sense. I think it's a, a dramatic blow for freedom and that it is amazingly obvious that we should have done this years ago. In Seattle, a city obsessed with connoisseur coffee, fine wines and fresh produce, marijuana is also a gourmet item, says dispensary co-owner John Davis. And this is called headband. It's very, very potent, um, but nice, nice trim excellent bouquet, mm -hmm. it's, got a, it's got good trichomes, it's nice and crystally. Um, this, is, uh, this is marijuana that's considered fine marijuana. The cannabis will be grown by state-approved cultivators and sold in state-sanctioned stores, and it will be heavily taxed at 25 percent. The tax revenues will go to the state treasury, drug addiction programs, and health care. This is 28 grams of marijuana, and under the new law, that's the amount that anyone over the age of 21 is legally allowed to possess for recreational use. But while state law now says pot is okay, federal law says possession of any amount is forbidden. That could lead to a legal clash. It's a tremendous constitutional conflict, one that Use usually uh, bodes well in favor of the federal government. However, in this case, uh, such a conflict exists that ultimately the Supreme Court will have to decide this issue. Seattle Assistant Police Chief Jim Pugel thinks the feds will mostly keep their distance. We have a fairly good belief that um, the federal government will not do anything against the individual who is possessing as described by state law. Federal authorities say they are still reviewing the legalization initiatives approved by Washington and Colorado voters. Vivian McPeak, the head of Seattle's annual marijuana festival, sees the rest of the U.S. eventually following the two states' lead. Marijuana prohibition has caused a lot more damage to society than marijuana ever would. In the decades-long U.S. war on drugs, marijuana appears to be winning its battle. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Seattle.